Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a solo hot tent overnighter and it is just starting to rain. Now this trip's going to be a little interesting because I have a brand new tent never used before. This is actually literally my very first time setting it up. I'm also running a new tent stove and like I said, it's raining. So what could go wrong, right? So I'm going to get the tent set up, fiddle around with that. Now I did bring a mesh inner which is still folded up. Like I said, I've never used this before, so I'm going to be setting it up on the fly right now in an area that I have camped at with a similar sized tent. So that's the only thing I got going for me in this trip is this area I have camped in before with a hot tent. So I'm going to get the tent set up really quickly and I've got the center pole in here somewhere. So like I said, I'm going to get the tent set up, get everything squared away, bring you guys back and I'll run down through the setup that I'm going to be using this evening and then we'll get on with collecting some snow for water and get a coffee on the go.
Okay guys, everything is completely set up and I'm just kind of organizing a few pieces of gear right now. So to give you guys the rundown of what I've got going on here is I've got my Timberwolf stove. Now like I said, this is a new stove. It actually has the two side glass panels. So it is available now with or without side glass panels. So I've only burned this once. So tonight will be a really fun opportunity to burn it for the whole night and get a good use out of it. Uh, the sleeping pad that I'm using is my Thermarest NeoAir X-Therm. Very, very nice. R value 6.9. You can never go wrong with that. And then for my sleeping bag, I've got my North Face Blue Kazoo. Now, the reason why I brought this sleep system, the pad is always warm no matter what. The sleeping bag is actually a right-hand zip bag, which puts it perfectly in line with the stove. So tonight is not going to be very cold. It's raining. It might go down to zero degrees, if that. I doubt it, but this sleeping bag will likely just be a top cover. I'm just going to flop it over top of me, leave the whole zipper unzipped, and then I can reach out of the mesh inner enclosure that I'm in right now, put wood in the stove, and then flop it back over top as a blanket. So that's the idea with that. And then my backpack is going to go off to this side up towards my head end because I'm going to be sleeping this way. And then I've got all my cooking kit and stuff. now really important about this stove is it is going to get used a lot for cooking because i don't think i'm going to have an outside fire maybe i don't know right now my plan is to just burn in the stove and stay out of the wetness because i don't have a rain jacket i've got my wool sweater underneath of or my wool shirt i should say underneath my sleeping pad and i'm just wearing a hoodie right now it is very very warm so i'm not going to be cold but i don't want to get too wet so that's kind of the idea, and if I get a hunker inside of the tent like this for the majority of the time, normally that would drive me crazy, but I've got an excellent view of the green springtime forest right now out this large door, so I'm going to be very, very comfortable, make some coffee right here, some tea, snacks, whatever. I think it'll be okay. So that's what I'm going to do, finish getting all this stuff organized, get my cooking stuff set up, and then I am going to have to gather some firewood, and I'd rather do it now than later on in the day, so I'll get my saw get out in the forest and find some firewood, get it cut up, get it stacked in here. And then it's gonna be time for a coffee because I definitely need a coffee. So let's get organized. Okay guys, just cutting down this first hardwood tree and uh, well, it got snagged up there and then I had to pull the bottom out. I was forced to do an undercut underneath the tree so it fell away. I was kind of hoping that the whole tree was gonna come down but it's still snagged up there. So what I'm gonna do is kind of rock it back and forth, try and dislodge it. If I can't, I'll put another undercut in up higher and uh, basically take out a six to eight foot section. That'll give me two sections out of that tree and hopefully the, the other piece will come down in a windstorm at a later date but if i can't get it down i'm not going to waste all day trying to so just going to get us what i can off of this and uh see how it goes
Okay guys, I've got all of the hardwood that I'm going to need all prepped up and this stuff is extremely dense and extremely dry. Very, very good find with this wood. So I'm gonna pop that under the tent with the rest of it so it stays nice and dry. I'm also gonna get my saw put away out of the rain as well so the blade doesn't rust up. But there is one thing that I have to do and I'm gonna mention the tent here. So I do need to go collect water. The reason why I'm not gonna boil snow and make water because we're down to the last three, four inches of snow and it is the dirtiest snow ever. All the pine needles, everything that fell out of the trees that landed on the snow all winter has now been minimized and basically concentrated into those three, four inches. So it is terrible snow for melting for water. I'm not gonna collect uh, rainwater, I was gonna say snow, but I'm not gonna collect rainwater off of the tent either because all tents and tarps have chemical agents put in them to be waterproof and the manufacturing process has chemical agents and all that stuff. So I'm not actually gonna collect rainwater off of my tent or my tarp as I never ever do ever. Um, I know some people do, I personally don't. Instead, I am gonna go down to a creek. There's a creek way off in the distance. I can actually hear it. If I'm really quiet, I can hear it running down there. So I'm gonna gather my pot, my kettle after I get this put away. And I'm gonna run down and leave the camera behind because it is wet and I don't wanna go pushing the camera through all the hemlocks and pine needles and getting soaked. So I am gonna grab my pot, my kettle, run down, grab some water, come back up and to get the fire going in the stove.
Okay guys, I got my hot cup of coffee poured up and I'm just gonna relax and enjoy this for a few minutes. But what I want to kind of cover, cause I know a lot of people are probably watching this going, whoa, whoa, what just happened? Um, I did not make the coffee in my kettle like I normally do. So I did put my coffee filter directly in my cup and I did a pour over method. And the reason for that is because I don't want to use all of this water for coffee. Like I said, I only have my 750 ml pot and my kettle full of water right now. I don't really feel like running all the way back down there to get more water just to make food. So I'm gonna be using the water in the kettle for drinks and for cooking, but I'm gonna be doing all the cooking in here because you guys also know that I don't like putting food into my kettle. So once this gets low enough, I'm gonna transfer this boiled water into that, and then I'll be able to cook out of this, drink out of this, and boil and store water out of that. So it is getting a little bit dark outside. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on the light through the trees. It is getting late in the day. So I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. And then by the time I'm done this, it should be time to start on supper and uh, enjoy the warmth of this stove because it is rocking out some heat right now. So that's the plan, coffee and then supper.
Okay guys, I'm all done with supper now. I've got my entire area all tidied up because you guys know how I like my area nice and clean and it is very clean and organized. So what I've got going on right now is I've got a couple pieces of clothing hanging and drying. So I've got my gloves, my hat hanging up, drying. My sweater soaked. I'm going to be doing this with it later on, hanging it on the hook. Let it dry out overnight. And I'm drying out a bunch of firewood right now. So I'm kind of picking out the pieces that are dry enough to move off to a secondary pile. And I'm stacking it over here. So this stuff is absolutely bone dry and very, very dense. So that's good stuff. Now I'm going to keep cycling in the wet wood, the dry wood, get it all kind of cycled through and make sure it's all dry for tonight and in the morning. So supper was really, really good. I got to say, all I did was simple beef ramen. I had two types of mushrooms, a red onion, pop that in there, cook it up, bam, done. Simple, really, really good. So especially on kind of a damp day, it's nice having that nice warm kind of brothy soup and a little bit of pasta. So that was really good. I'm actually stuffed right now. I do have snacks inside of the tent that I'm gonna snack on later on this evening. And I think what I'm going to do later when I'm in here doing my movie time, because I watch movies at night, uh, I think I'm going to zip this door probably only down to about here. So I'm gonna leave this little triangle area open and this, the, the two windows on the stove will make the tent glow. But I think that'll kind of equal out the temperature because it is rather warm right now. And I know as soon as I shut this door, it is going to get very, very hot inside of the tent. So probably only gonna zip it down halfway. I do have the top vent open and I did pitch the tent on that side high off the ground on purpose. So I have one entire panel on that side with a huge air gap. And then on the back side behind me, I have half of that air gap. So over there is probably about five to six inches. Over here, it's probably about three to four. And uh, that'll help bring in a lot of fresh air and a lot of cool air. So I'm not too hot tonight when the door is shut. But for now, I'm just gonna get some wood in here, get that fire so it's burning healthy and it doesn't snuff itself out and probably have another coffee. And then I'm just gonna kick back and relax for a few minutes now that I've got everything cleaned up. All right guys, it's been about two and a half hours now and it is getting dark really quickly now. So I just cut up a few more pieces of firewood. So it always seems whenever I go hot tenting, my firewood pile just mysteriously keeps getting larger and larger. So I found some firewood. I can never say no to that. So I ended up cutting a little bit more than what I think I'm going to need. And typically it is more than what I need, but I also clobbered my hand really good with the, with the baton when I was batoning the wood. So I probably lost a good $4 worth of ink out of my hand. So that was awesome. Uh, pretty swollen right now. So I'm just gonna basically not baton any more wood for the trip. So hopefully I got enough of wood and I think I do, I, I really do. I think I have way too much. But uh, basically I'm gonna be jumping inside of the tent. Now, like I said, it is getting late and I want to relax. I've been working all day and I actually just filmed another video. Sitting here doing all this work got me thinking, is hot tenting really worth it? So stay tuned for that video to come out because I think you'll be surprised with what I have to say in it. So for this evening, that is basically it, guys. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna leave the door open. I'm not even gonna bother shutting it right now. I'll probably just leave it wide open now. I'm gonna get the camera set in here, get it somewhere it's nice and dry, and then uh, basically get my boots off, get these dried out, set them next to the stove. And I'm gonna start watching some of the saved movies that I have on my phone because that's always what I do when I'm out in a hot tent is watch movies. So. I will catch you guys in the morning for coffee. Good night, guys.
Good morning, everybody. We got dumped on with some really unexpected snow. So it is freezing cold outside. The temperatures have completely switched, which is very common here in Nova Scotia during springtime. Um, it is cold out. I'm not going to lie. It is freezing cold. The snow is quite deep. The tent is completely covered. So hopefully the wood stove will melt all of this off and, uh, and it'll basically just kind of slide down the side of the tent really quickly. But I've got the wood stove going. It just woke up a few minutes ago. I'm going to get my kettle on there right now, actually. And uh, I need hot water for breakfast and coffee. Coffee right away because it's bitter cold though, and there's quite a cold breeze coming through the forest as well. So hopefully all of this snow and ice melts off of the tent quickly and, uh, and it gets warmed up. All right, guys, I'm all finished up with my breakfast and I've had a cup of coffee. I still have more in my kettle, but I have got to get this tent kind of, I, I gotta get the snow off, I have to. It's, it's caving in on the inside and it's chewing up some headroom and whatnot. So I'm gonna go inside and start tapping on the side of the walls here and hopefully all that snow will just slide right down. Up at the top, it is still melting quite a bit. And I want to get that before it turns to ice. So I want to get all this kind of cleared off before it forms into a really thick ice. So that's what I'm going to do. Go inside and start knocking off the snow. All right, so that's a million times better inside. Now, if I was staying a second day, I would have to retension my guy lines and my stakeout points because as the fabric gets wet, it'll stretch. And then with all that weight of the snow and then the hot and the cold cycle, you'd have to reposition those 
and uh, and then you'd be good for a second night. But unfortunately, I'm going home today, even though I would really, really love to stay out. Uh, one thing to note, I did not bring a jacket, so I did not expect it to get cold or snow. And I do this every single year. Every spring, I always make this mistake. I bring a sweater, a shirt, fingerless gloves, a hat, thinking, yeah, it's nice and warm out. And boom, winter comes back again. So. I only have my sweater and my wool shirt, but that's not going to be a problem because once I get all this packed away and I start hiking down the trail, I'm going to start working up a sweat pretty quickly. So not too, too worried about that. It's just a sitting and lingering around, uh, which is totally okay today because I have a hot tent. But if I had a cold shelter, sitting and lingering around would be terrible. So I'm going to jump inside. I'm going to enjoy another cup of coffee, kind of warm up a little bit. And then I think it's going to be time to eventually get the, the tent taken down, all the gear packed away, the stove cooled down and all that fun stuff of packing up. So I'm going to enjoy coffee first. Okay, guys, I've had my coffee and I've been relaxing inside of the tent for probably about an hour now and it is freezing cold out here. So. I have to get packed up now and I'm going to do this very, very quickly. I've got my leather gloves on. I'm going to grab the chimney, rip it off the stove, get the stove out, dumped out and let it cool down while I turn my attention to the tent. So I've already got my sleeping pad, my sleeping bag inside is already packed up. All my cooking gear is all compiled into one neat little area. So what I've got to do is get everything out of the tent, rip the tent down, jam it in my backpack, get everything put in there very quickly. Cause like I said, it is cold out and, uh, and then it's going to be time to hit the trail. So I'm just going to deal with all this really quickly, bring you guys back as soon as I'm done. got the tent down everything is already in the backpack other than the tent and I gotta say I am frozen absolutely frozen my hands are wet from the snow from touching everything and then I grabbed a hold of the tripod and my skin literally froze to the aluminum tripod and I had to peel my fingers off of it so that was not very comfortable but uh, I'm almost there almost there the pegs all came out really well I'm actually happy with that the only ice is on the very bottom to the skirt of the tent. So I'm going to give that a really good shake, jam it in the backpack, and that should be it. Why am I even putting this on? I don't need that. Okay, guys, I am all packed up, and I'm going to get this pack on my back in just a second move it out of the way. I guess I don't need the rain cover for today. Uh, give you guys a look really quickly at where the tent was positioned. So it is all nice and springtime inside, wintertime outside. Now, as usual, I processed way too much firewood. So I have a ton of my hard work just laying here, all nice and ready to go. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be using it, obviously. I'm heading home, but give you guys an idea of how much I went through and how much I really didn't need and it's a shame because this stuff is just beautiful beautiful hardwood just really nice and dry so maybe next time I'll come back out to the same location later in spring and do a leisure kind of hot tent and use some of this wood up but for now I'm freezing guys I'm not gonna lie it is freezing cold my face is freezing I got ice my fingers are frozen I gotta get going so that camera is getting packed away really quick I don't need my rain cover obviously so I'm just going to cram that in with the camera and it is time to get on the trail. So I hope you guys really like this video. I had an excellent time, unexpected weather, rain, snow, wind, everything. So I'm out of here guys. Thank you guys for watching. Drop your comments down in the comment section, all your questions and I'll be sure to get back to you. Peace out guys. Catch you in the next video.